I've been seeing some pretty interesting use cases for Google's AI tool Notebook LM recently, and one of his use cases has actually been for language learning. Basically, on Japanese Twitter, what this person did is they got an article from Mac Rumors and they put it into Notebook LM, and they basically had it generate a bilingual language lesson for them, where they had English sentences explained in Japanese. And you can listen to a short example over here. Which recorded just 0.2% growth. And I don't know about you, but usually when I'm listening to podcasts, I remember the information much better than when I'm listening to audiobook. So for example, if I listen to an audiobook by an author, then I remember like, I don't know, like 30-40% of information. But when I'm listening to podcasts of the author being interviewed about the book, then I remember like 89% of the information. So I really prefer podcasts and the fact that Notebook LM can make these kind of podcast style conversations is pretty good. And as of April this year, Notebook LM actually works on over 50 languages. So I guess you can use it to learn over 50 different languages. So I'm going to go through a demo of how you can do this yourself. But basically before getting started, if you are pretty overwhelmed by all the AI news these days and there are like 20 new news stories, 10 new models and like all these things happening and you don't know what is relevant for you, then you can actually download my new app called Tensor AI. It actually came out today and basically helps you keep up to date on the latest AI stories. So you put in your interests and what industry you're working in and so forth when you download the app and then it only sends you notifications about the stories that are relevant to you and it updates every single hour and you can also listen to your all hourly audio briefings. So every hour there's a new like audio briefing about all the news that happened in the last 24 hours. So it can really help you stay up to date. It is still a very new app so there will be some bugs but it will get better over time and if you're watching this video much later then it will actually be really good now. So in the description there's a link to download it for both iOS and on Android. One of the interesting use cases for audio overviews that I've seen is on this channel. And basically this person generates a Japanese conversation podcast using Notebook LM. So when you listen to it, it's all like Notebook LM audio. So for example, this one, like why do Japanese people study at Starbucks? Uh, you can listen to this and it's like... Like it's literally all Notebook LM. And I think it's pretty interesting because you can do this yourself and you can have it generate a podcast style audio like practice conversation for any topic that you're interested in. Anyways, the way of doing this is going to Notebook LM to begin with. There's a link in the description and then pressing create a new notebook. And then you can import any sources you want. I'm actually going to close this for now. You want to go to settings over here and you want to go to output language. And then you want to change this to the language that you're learning. So I'm going to choose Japanese over here because that's the main language I'm learning. So choosing Japanese, press save. And then you want to put in any sources that you care about. So if you wanted to generate like a podcast style conversation about why Japanese people study in Starbucks, then you can just uh, like copy this or just type it in yourself. Uh, press discover sources over here, then paste this in and press submit. And now it's going to find all the sources about why Japanese people study at Starbucks. And it will find all the sources available in that particular language. So I'm going to press import over here and then it will import all the sources. And for the deep dive conversation between the two hosts, you don't want to press generate just yet. You want to press customize over here. And then you can customize it to have either a monolingual conversation or a bilingual conversation. And you can specify like be 30% English, 70% Japanese, 50-50 or whatever you're comfortable with. So I actually have some prompts in the description down below. There's a link to the prompts and then you can paste the prompts in. So it can be like you're teaching Japanese and English native, provide bilingual lessons explaining the Japanese text, keep a 70% Japanese, 30% English, say the complicated terms in English and then proceed to explain them in Japanese. That would be for a bilingual conversation or for a monolingual conversation, you can just use a prompt like this over here and that will also be in the description down below. So I'm gonna to stick to the monolingual prompt for now and then just press generate over here. And it will use this prompt and take it into consideration when generating any audio. And whilst this is generating, I can also do the same bilingual conversation that happened over here. So we can make a new notebook as well and then we can press create new and then select a new story. So for example, like I'm on the IT section of Yahoo News in Japanese, and this is like my number card being installed on iPhones. I can press this new story over here, and then I can have it explain the entire story to me. So I can copy the link and then go to link over here, press paste, paste the link, insert, and now it's gonna fetch the link. And I will cap copy the prompt from earlier. And the language, it should be in Japanese, so it still is in Japanese over here press customize and then paste in the bilingual prompt and press generate. So I had both of these generating and whilst it's generating, I'm gonna quickly explain some theory to begin with. Basically, you can imagine the world being broken down into a set of circles. This is language A over here and this is language B over here. 
And some of the circles overlap in some ways, but most of the circles don't actually overlap. So for example, like when you're watching a TV show that was originally in Japanese, but then it was dubbed into English, they're not saying the translation of what was said because that would sound too unnatural. They're saying whatever an English speaker would have said if they found themselves in the same situation. Matt vs. Japan talked about this before, where he said language is highly specific in unpredictable ways. So there are set phrases on how you say things and convey certain ideas. So you can't just be translating in your head. For example, in English, if you say, can I have your number, to ask someone out or like get that number. That sounds completely natural, but if you were to say the same phrase translated into Japanese, then it would sound pretty unnatural because there's a different phrase that you would use for that same intention. So basically with the world being broken down into a set of circles, you have all these words for language B, have all these words for language A, and sometimes the words overlap. So for example, like hydrogen in Japanese would be hydrogen in English. A lot of scientific words overlap. Whereas not all words overlap completely, 100%. There's like nuance to each word that is lost in the translation. So you want to be thinking or learning in the language itself as much as possible. And there may also be other cases where in English, we might have like seven, eight different words for a concept, but in Japanese, there's only one word for that concept. But in English, the seven to eight different words have its own nuance and meaning and context and history around them. So you want to be learning within the language itself as much as possible, which is why I usually prefer the monolingual conversations that just uses easier language itself. So what this means is that when you're using Notebook LM to generate the podcast style conversations for you, you want to eventually switch or graduate to being 100% in that language. For example, if you're learning Chinese, you could use 50% Chinese, 50% English, or 20% Chinese, 80% English, and instruct it to do that for you. And then eventually you want to change the level of Chinese to be higher and higher and higher until it's 100% in Chinese, in simpler Chinese. So it explains any story or news article, or anything interested in simpler terms within that language itself. Anyway, so now the audio overviews have been generated and I can also download the Notebook LM app and have these available on my phone years later to listen to whilst on the go and have it downloaded offline. But basically, let's listen to it now. これも意見としてありましたけど、逆に周りが気になりすぎて。ああ、確かに。あの人何してるかなとか。And listening to this, I'm like, wow, this is so cool. Like, you can just have any topic that you're interested in as a podcast itself. So, even if you can't find a real podcast about the topics that you're into, you can just make one for yourself.